Look, I want to save money where I can. And fact is, the VPN industry happens to cater to many different wallet types. So why don't we pull two options from opposite ends, Surfshark VPN versus Express VPN, and see how a cheaper VPN compares to an older and pricier option. By the way, I am so close to that sweet 1k sub mark, so let's make a deal. If you subscribe, I promise to co-host more videos with the cat. Deal? And if you missed the last cat appearance, check out the link in the description below. Okay, first of all, can they guarantee the same security and privacy standards? Well, both VPNs swear that they keep no records of user data and have audited no logs policies to back that up. What's more, they both use RAM-based servers, with ExpressVPN being the first to implement them. This type of server can't retain any data by design. It gets completely erased with each server reboot. While data of the VPN users is going through the servers, it's also protected by encryption. Your traffic is turned into a super hard to crack potato mash of symbols, which also protects it from prying eyes. Whether that's your internet service provider, your work or school network manager, or perhaps your friendly neighborhood hacker, you never know. On top of that, there's a handful of features that prevent data leaks, from a kill switch that protects you from IP exposure to DNS leak protection. So. They're both equal. Eh, not so fast. What I often see brought up is the VPN jurisdictions. While ExpressVPN operates within the laws of the British Virgin Isles, Surfshark's jurisdiction is in the Netherlands, which is part of the Illuminati. Uh, no, sorry, it's part of the Nine Eyes Alliance, which is an agreement between certain governments to monitor and share data of internet users. So is Surfshark safe then? Since it has a no-logs policy, and it's verified by independent experts, the alliance doesn't really pose a problem. On the contrary, a VPN is a great way to fight for your privacy, as it will hide your traffic from all nine eyes or however many of them there is. Speaking of privacy, ExpressVPN doesn't have a spotless reputation either. Their current parent company, Cape, had a troubling past surrounded by rumors of spreading malware. Not something you want a VPN attached to. But then again, considering all the audits ExpressVPN went through and stunts like record-breaking bug bounties, I don't see any grounds for suspicion, at least not anymore. So considering all the security measures, whichever VPN option you choose, you're gonna be protected. But then again, there's much more to a VPN than just protection. That's why it's time to raise another question. In a Surfshark VPN versus Express VPN comparison, which one works better? Well, to find that out, I ran a Surfshark VPN versus Express VPN speed test. And although Surfshark is a cheaper VPN, it was actually faster. To be fair, both VPN showed similar speed results when it came to the closest servers, retaining around 90% of my original internet speed. The differences started to emerge while testing further locations. ExpressVPN still had good results, plenty for browsing or streaming, but if we look at the numbers, they were simply lower than Surfshark's. Now, Surfshark uses the WireGuard protocol to power its VPN, while ExpressVPN created its own called Lightway. But I don't think the protocol is what caused ExpressVPN to be slower. Not that long ago, they started hiding their server number. Although the website does say they cover 150 countries, if their server amount is small enough to hide it, the problem might be that they're simply overcrowded. Surfshark, on the other hand, clearly states how many servers it has, over 3,200 across 100 countries, and I think it really shows in their performance. If security and speed are all you care about, then go get your VPN pick right now. Just make sure to grab a discount via the link in the description. I, on the other hand, am interested in more stuff. Like, how does streaming and torrenting work? Well, surprisingly, there aren't that many differences in this area. Both Surfshark and ExpressVPN are great options to access content from foreign libraries since they cover so many countries. I mean, even the almighty NordVPN pales in comparison. That said, for streaming, I usually reach for Surfshark since, as we already discussed, it has slightly better speeds. Plus, I use it a lot anyway, especially for the ad blocker, but more on that later. In terms of 
torrenting, I find these two pretty similar as well. Both options support P2P traffic on all servers, so the choice is up to you. Now, another great point of VPN comparison are the apps. In this case, you can instantly see how different they are. ExpressVPN's initial window is very minimalistic, no matter what platform you use it on. The catch is anything extra. From location to settings and features, it all opens up in separate pop-up windows. Maybe, maybe it's just me, but that feels a bit old school, doesn't it? Also, why is there no dark mode? Come on, guys, spare my eyeballs. Surfshark, on the other hand, has a proper dark mode, and the app stays in a singular window, so it is really easy to understand and navigate. The main dashboard contains all the VPN basics. There's a location list, connection stats, and a variety of specialized servers. The rest of the features and settings are all in the settings area. So, as I said, it is very easy to navigate. Since we're on the topic of features, which VPN has better ones, ExpressVPN or Surfshark? I'd say it entirely depends on what you need from your VPN. For example, ExpressVPN just added a new password manager to their VPN package, so you can get two tools with one subscription. Just be aware that it's very new, so it's still a little bit buggy. Moreover, ExpressVPN also has a unique device groups feature that lets you assign different locations to different devices when using a VPN on your router. So far, such a thing is not possible with any other VPN. Meanwhile, Surfshark is focused a bit elsewhere. For one, it has more features for enhanced privacy. I'm talking about the specialty servers, especially multi-hop. It lets you connect through two VPN servers instead of just one, basically doubling its security. It's more for privacy enthusiasts or activists, so I usually use the static IP servers instead. These are great for minimizing verification requests from Google or Amazon since they tend to freak out every time they see a new IP address. But I've said this before, and I'll say it again, my favorite Surfshark feature has to be clean web. I use it from the Surfshark browser extension and it completely gets rid of all kinds of ads for me with no VPN connection required. It can even get rid of the ones in here. You know, the place that must not be named. And it is rare these days to find an ad blocker that works. And for it to come from a VPN, I'm impressed, especially since Surfshark is so cheap. That said, if you take ExpressVPN, compare prices to Surfshark, and then try to weigh the value, the Surfshark just seems to be more worth it. And it didn't even cover the fact that ExpressVPN allows eight simultaneous connections on different devices, while Surfshark has no limits. That means you can split your VPN pricing with the whole neighborhood if you want. Don't get me wrong, ExpressVPN is still a solid choice. It's been among top VPN picks for quite a while now, and with the new ad blocker and password manager additions, their pricing is much more justified than it used to be. But for now, I'll stick to using Surfshark. Let me know if you know or use any other cheap but good VPNs and what kind of comparison you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and if you're looking for a VPN, don't forget to grab a discount from the description below. I'll see you in the next one.